Hello children welcome to the session in this session we are going to study about one of the animal fibers which is wool and what comes to your mind when you think about wool you must be thinking about the sweaters or the colorful scarves shawls that you use in winters to protect yourself from chilly cold environment so similarly students animals have this furry coating on their bodies that we use as fur and you must be thinking that the animal that yields wool is only sheep but no students not only sheep there are other animals like goat yak and even camels that yield uh, wool in the form of hair on their bodies but why do animals have this hair on their bodies they have this kind of a furry coating on their bodies in order to protect them from cold environments and how does this fur helps them to protect them from cold because their fur or this coating this covering of fur uh, traps the air between them and as air is a poor conductor of heat it will help to keep the animals warm and it will save them from the cold environment but isn't it unfair that we are taking away their uh, furry coating that protects them from the harsh environment no students uh, we prepare or uh, we obtain this wool in such a manner that when we take this wool it is already summer time okay so that by the time it's winter again they will have their fresh covering or coating like our hair grows on our head and bodies similarly animals grow their hair every season so in this way it does not harm these animal in any way and we also obtain warm wool for our winters so students we have an activity in this activity what you are going to do is you will feel the hair on your body and arms and then you will touch the hair that are present on your head and do you feel any difference in the texture of hair on your bodies and on your head and i'm sure there is a difference in both the texture of both the hair why because the hair on your bodies will be fine and soft whereas the hair on your head will be little rough as compared to the hair on your bodies so students similarly animals have different textures of hair uh, so the very fine soft hair or the under uh, skin hair Uh, uh, under cover hair on the bodies of animals are used to make soft sweaters shawls scarves or maybe even used for making jackets whereas the rough hair from the bodies of animals is used to make carpets or rugs so now students we shall move ahead and study more about these animals which yields wool so let us now move ahead so the hairy skin on the sheep has two types of fibers that we have already discussed and these are these may be the coarse beard hair one type will be the coarse hair and the second will be the soft fine under hair close to their skin which is very close to their surface of the skin it is very fine hair and this fine hair provides the fibers for making wool but some breeds of the sheep possess only fine hair so students here we have two types of sheep there are certain breeds of sheep that only yields fine fibers okay students so we uh, uh, select these sheep or animals that only yield soft fibers for obtaining soft wool and this process is called as selective breeding what it is called as selective breeding and in this process we select the parents that uh, uh, we can uh, define it in a much better way like this that the process of selecting parents for obtaining special characters in their offspring that is we select the parents of such animals that only have fine characteristics of producing only fine fibers so this is the process which is known as selective breeding wherein we select the parents of such animals and we obtain only those breeds or species that will give us fine wool okay students i hope you would have understood this now let us move ahead we are going to study about the animals that yield 
wool which are the animals that eat wool so commonly available wool comes from the fleece of sheep and what is fleece fleece means hair so the most commonly obtained wool comes from the sheep fleece of sheep then yak wool comes from where yak wool comes from tibet and ladakh because yaks are mostly found in ladakh and tibet then we have another type of wool known as mohair and is found in hilly regions such as jammu and kashmir and it is obtained from angora goats this is a species of goats which is angora goats then wool is also obtained from the goat hair as the under fur of kashmiri goat is very soft you might have heard about pashmina shawls pashmina shawls these shawls are students very very pricey as well as they are very soft and very very warm and they come from the wool of a special goat which is found mostly in jammu and kashmir and it is known for its best quality of wool next students the fur on the body of camels is known is also used as wool most of the students uh, might not be aware of this fact that camels also eel wool and where do they eel uh, and uh, not in india but uh, the camels that eel wool are mostly in uh, africa and middle east middle east okay students then we have llama and alpaca which are mostly found in south america and they are also known to eat wolves so let us now move ahead to make this learn learning of all these animals where are they found a little more easy by the use of an activity in this activity you will have to collect the pictures of the animals whose hair is used as wool and you have to paste their pictures in your scrapbook and if you cannot find these pictures you can always download it from the internet or you can draw it on your own and it will be a really fun activity and in this way you can learn the names of all the animals that eat wool some of the examples are these angora goats which are found in jammu and kashmir then we have goats yak which are found in ladakh and tibet then we have camels in india they are found in gujarat and rajasthan but uh, if we uh, look around the world they are mostly found in middle east and africa then we have alpaca and llama which are found in america so uh, let us move ahead towards our next activity in this activity what you are going to do is you will bring a map of india a political map of india and you will mark the states which are known to uh, found the animals that eat wool so you can mark jammu and kashmir for angora goats then you can mark then you can mark yak which are mostly found in himachal pradesh then you can find goats in uttar pradesh then in madhya pradesh maharashtra karnataka and tamil nadu these states are known for the sheep then uh, in bengal you get black bengal goats then in andhra pradesh you get nellor sheep then in gujarat and rajasthan camels are found so in this way you can mark the states which are known you can mark the states where you can find the animals that eat wool similarly students you can take a map of world and you can mark the countries that are known to uh, have the animals which eat wool so in this way students i hope that you would have understood how do we from where we get wool and where are these animals found uh, that give us wool now subscribe to bright duty course at rupees 1 per day only download bright duty app from play store and get the online courses prepared by competent and experienced teachers for different education boards of classes 6 to 10 bright duty courses are available for the subjects of math science social science english and hindi in english and hindi medium Bright Duty follows three step approach that is learning assessment and exam preparation in learning topic wise video lectures with explanation of concepts and discussion of textbook examples and questions are available with the solutions in assessment topic wise online mcq test practice assignments and chapter wise question bank are available with the solutions 
in exam preparation previous years question papers sample papers and model test papers are available with the solutions sign up today on bright tuesday and avail your courses at affordable prices